if you don't set up these filters correctly, uh, then you might get quite confused with the expenses. I have been using it uh, together with my girlfriend for a couple of months now, just, um, just for fun, pretty much. Hey there and welcome back to the Notion for Students video series. My name is Janosch and in this video I want to show you how you can use Notion and the templates that I've created, which is available in the description down below for download uh, for free, um, how you can use that to track your expenses um, as a college student and how you can then share these expenses with your roommate, for example. So there's a nice way to implement this in Notion. It's what I use with my girlfriend, Anna, um, as we're living together here as well. I'm a college student myself, so we're also uh, doing this to, to share our expenses. And uh, I want to show you how it works. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the expenses database in the College OS system are uh, available in the uh, overview up here. So if you click on that, we'll get to the expenses column um, or the expenses view. And this has three different uh, views in it. Uh, the overview, the current month and the yearly overview. Um, this overview is pretty much uh, the starting point for the setup. Um, so it has the purchases in it, it has the price assigned to it and who bought it. And also uh, things like month and year because we need that to kind of filter through each month, month's and year's expenses um, so that we can use this um, in one database for forever pretty much um, by just filtering out the actual year and month. Now, how this works is uh, if I was to purchase something, like I was going grocery shopping, uh, shopping I would, might just uh, like put in uh, groceries in here as a title so that we know what I actually purchased. Uh, let's say this cost me like $25 maybe, and I'll just add in my name because I'm the one who actually bought it. Um, and I am purchasing in the January of 2021, which is also the filter that's set up right here. Now, this is really important because if you don't set up these filters correctly, uh, then you might get quite confused with the expenses. Um, you might have a filter set up that shows only like uh, the, the expenses for December, but it's also, it's already January. And then you add in new expenses, which then will be assigned to December. Um, so just keep in mind that that's really important in this case um, and that you have to make sure that on this page um, the filters are set up correctly. Uh, I recommend having it this way, so having a filter for the year and also for the month and then at the beginning of each month you just go in here and you just change that up to the next month um, so all the expenses will also automatically be added to that month then. All right, so now we can go to the next view, which is the current month view. And pretty much how this works is it just uh, is again filtered for the year and for the month. And it just uses the board view, um, meaning that I can see all the different expenses that uh, my girlfriend and I had. And you can also see the sum. So what we actually paid in the in the end and how you use this is at the end of the month, uh, just go in and um, look at this page. You'll see all of the expenses and see the total sum. And then you can just uh, calculate who owes who, uh, what amount of money by just uh, going in and taking the higher amount, uh, subtracting the smaller amount from that, and then dividing by two. And then uh, that's what the person uh, that has paid the smaller price uh, has to pay the other person to make it fair. If you have more than one roommate, this uh, might take a bit more work from you, but still it works pretty much the same way. You just have more columns and then you can determine who owes who, what amount of money, um, but still it would be a nice way to track uh, your overall expenses. All right, and lastly, we have the yearly overview as well. This is, um, just um, just for fun, pretty much, just for for knowing and, and, and seeing what you actually bought. Um, uh, it's not, for the data is not fully in here, so it's not like the actual numbers, but pretty much what this does, it, it's just set up to filter for a year. So now this is still 2020, um, so keep that in mind. And you see, we had all these different um, things that we bought uh, for these different months, and you will see like the total amount of money that you spent um, in that year. Uh, or in that month. You can have it show only the expenses that you actually had and the things that you actually bought or you could also add in your roommates as well to see like your overall total expenses um, to, to keep track of how much you're spending each month. 
Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty much it for this uh, for this setup. It's really simple, and uh, once you get used to like adding in these expenses whenever you bought them to to the setup, um, you will find that it's really really useful. And um, as I said, I have been using it uh, together with my girlfriend for a couple of months now, and uh, it works it works really well, um, and we have had no problems with it so far. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you also enjoyed the, uh, the college students. Uh, Notion for Students series. Um, please let me know if you have any other suggestions or if you felt that something was missing from the series because um, I, I am planning to expand on the series uh, if there's additional content or additional like topics um, that I haven't covered yet that you would like to, me to talk about. Uh, and also the templates are, are going to be uh, updated if there's um, additional like pages and additional things. Um, that you would want me to put in there. Uh, so leave me feedback in the comments below, please. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.